Hey y'all, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of Country Geisha. I am here in Morro Bay today. It's a nice, beautiful day. I'm actually really surprised because normally the weather is like really, really chilly. Today is nice, I got a little breeze. So I'm in shorts and everything. Usually you can't wear this type of clothes here because it's too cold. And there's two locations. If you look over to the other side is the actual restaurant. That's if you want to be bougie, then you can go eat there. Or you can come out here and do the outdoor seating. This is where I actually like to sit and eat because the weather is nice and you actually have a beautiful view of Moral Rock back there. I'm really excited to show you all um, the reason why I love coming out here. It's like a two, two and a half hour drive from where I live at and it's definitely worth the drive because you got the really nice uh, barbecue oysters. They used to be like $2, so they went up now. It's $3 pandemic prices. So come check it out. So this pasta is in Alfredo sauce and it's like my favorite. So the trick is you get all the good stuff over at the dockside too and then you go over to the restaurant and you get this because they don't serve this at um, the dockside. They, you have to actually get it at the actual restaurant. And it was like $32 for this plate. But it's so worth it, it's so good though. It's, like it just hits the spot for pasta. Mm. So good. So it comes with like shrimp, scallop, mainly fish. Yeah, they got some of that scallop in there. I just realized like pandemic prices, this has actually gone up a lot. I think it used to be like in the 20s, like before pandemic. And now it's like 32, that's insane. The dark side. it's not too bad either. Nice, cheesy, and crunchy. Good. Nice and cheesy on top. Mm -hmm. So I ordered a bowl of clam chowder. It was $8 for this whole entire bowl. There's two sizes. There's a $5 and $8 bowl. So I got the $8 bowl of clam chowder. This is like a more of a milkier, less thick type of clam chowder. And so yeah, it's pretty good though for, this, for clam chowder. No hot. It was really good. They got a lot of music going. It's the jams right now. It's like around one o'clock here right now. It's lying out the door. So hot. I'm gonna wait till that cools down because it's really hot. There you go. Here is. Ooh. And I'm your orders ready. Jen, I'm your orders ready. Kimberly, your orders ready. These are the barbecue oysters. So, I don't know if you can see that. And they're pretty big. They used to be like two bucks, now they're like three dollars. But it's really good and 
my favorite part of coming out tomorrow, babe, is eating this. Yeah. I have to get me some lime on all this. Or lemon. I gotta get some lemon on all this, my bad. But this is definitely my favorite is having these big old oysters. Definitely worth the money. These are barbecued oysters. So it has like pretty much like garlic, butter. And I guess they barbecue it. It's really good. We actually tried to make some at home. I mean, it tastes pretty similar, but it's still like not like Moro Bay because Moro Bay is just like so fresh. I hit the spot. Mm. And then, Hi, baby. I mean, just look how big this is in the palm of my hand. Mm -hmm. I gotta eat the juice too. Hmm? Gotta eat that juice. I usually get like a dozen oysters every time because if you know me, I love to eat. I eat more than my man here, so how big this is. See, it's so worth it. I get that juice. Oh yeah, this is my kind of place. I like you. Wendy, your order's ready. Wendy, Carter, your order's ready. Carter? That's four oysters down already. Oh. I still have more food to go. M, your order's ready. M, your order's ready. You want me to just get another one? Or what? He didn't, he didn't get you back. As you can tell, it's, it's so huge. I mean, it's like pretty much the size of my hand almost. For $3, I mean, before there was like $2, but still $3, $3 not bad for this. So, and it's, and it's freshly caught and made out here. So definitely worth the drive if you're ever in California. One and then This is a big, pretty big one. And then do it right up to the camera, right? Take the fork and do the same thing. There's only one fork. Mm -hmm.
the juice on this one though. We got so much juice on it. So much juice on that. I just had a dozen barbecue oysters and here I am with the clam chowder. So I think in total we spent like $140 and that's because there's three of us. So I got my son some uh, fried calamari fries and an extra side of fries, two drinks. Uh, we got the pasta, the seafood pasta, and we got a dozen and a half of barbecue oysters. So that's like 18 of them for $3 each. So the total is about close to $140, just rounding up. So yeah, pretty much it was really worth it. I have tried a few other restaurants here and they're okay, but this one just hits the spot. So this is like a must go to. Morro Bay, which is located right in between the Bay Area and the, the Los Angeles area. It's just a nice little drive right between ocean and many more other scenic areas before you actually hit the city area. So if you ever get a chance to visit Morro Bay, this is the place that you want to visit. So this concludes my trip to Morro Bay. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you on the next one.